All right, good morning. So we have, in reading today, we have a skill station day today. Um, and this is probably something that is very new to you. Um, it's actually a um, teaching you a method of how to study, which I thought would be great right now since you're actually doing research. Um, so actually today, all of our lessons kind of combine together in heritage studies and in reading and in English. So open your book. Your All you need is your work text. You don't need your reader. Open your work text to page 258. We have two pages, 258 and 259. So open those pages up right quick. And I'm just going to put my teacher book aside because I've taught this more times than I can remember. And I'm just going to teach it to you the way that I've always taught it to my kids. Okay, so if you're not on the pages 258 and 259 yet, you need to pause it until you get there. Okay, so let's look at page 258. Up at the very, very top corner, you see three letters and a number. PQ3R. Okay, just remember that. PQ3R. That is a method to study selections that you see in an encyclopedia or whatever it may be. Okay, now there's a chart that has PQ3R and then it has some words listed down. The P stands for preview. That means to just look over it, just kind of glance over it. Not really reading stuff, but just kind of glancing over it. Preview. Okay, and then there's Q. That means question. That means you're going to take all of the little subtitles, the little titles above each paragraph, and you're going to make those titles into a question. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then you see the three R's. That's what the three R stands for. Read, recite, and review. So let me tell you what all these things mean. Preview means basically just look at the title of the whole article and figure out what it means. Just kind of glance over it, maybe see how long it is. If, are there any pictures, that kind of thing. Question means look at all the little subtitles and make questions out of them. And then read the entire article and then recite. That means get the answers to your questions and then review. Does all this look right? Do, do I remember all of this? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're, there, there's a small um, article about the Pony Express right here on page 258. Now, I'm going to read that to you. We're, we're going to use that in a minute. Okay, so just hold on just a second. Look at the next page. You see where it says step by step. Now, you need to have these pages open if you can side by side. I don't know how they are in your book. Now, up at the very top of page 259, do you see where it says step one, preview, skim the article? Okay. What do you think the article is about? You don't have to write on here. So don't write anything. You can just put your pencil away. So what do you think the article is about? We'll look over here at the article on page 258. Uh, it's going to be about the Pony Express because that's the title. Am I right? Of course. If you look at the title of an article, you can almost always, well, it's going to be about blah, blah, blah. So it, the title of the article is the Pony Express. So it's going to be about that. So we did step one. We did preview. We looked at the title. kind of. We see that there's three little paragraphs with three little subtopics. So all we got to do, that's step one. Just look it over. Look at step two. On page 259, it says, question. This is the Q part. Change the title and those three subtitles into questions. Okay. So these can be anything. Remember, you do not have to write these down. This is just kind of a practice run. So we have the Pony Express. Well, we could change that into the question, what was the Pony Express? We could ask the question, who rode on the Pony Express? We could, ask the, we could ask a million questions about Pony Express, okay? And then you see the first subtitle, the plans, okay? Put that into a question, okay? Well, what were the plans for the Pony Express? Or did the plans for the Pony Express succeed? See how I'm saying? You can take those and kind of, 
ask yourself a question. Look at the next one, special horses. What kind of question could we ask about that subtopic? I bet you said something like, did they have to use special horses for Pony Express? That'd be a good question. And the last one, special riders. You could ask the same question. Were the riders special riders for the Pony Express? Okay. So, now that's Q. So we previewed it, and then we questioned. Now let's do the three R's. The first R is to read. So let's read it. In 1860, William H. Russell and some friends made plans for a fast mail service. Russell and his business partners, Alexander Majors and William Waddell, provided the needed funds and leadership for this large project. 190 relay stations were made ready from Missouri to California. The stations were about 10 to 15 miles apart. 500 horses were purchased for 150 each. These special horses were small, fast, and tough. They were able to carry both rider and mail swiftly and safely through rough country. The riders had to be skilled horsemen. They couldn't weigh more than 125 pounds. That meant they had to be thin. In order to survive, they also needed to be strong, courageous, and determined to do the job right. Okay, that's the first R. Now the second R, recite. That means to kind of go over the questions that you asked and read the answers to that. So for instance, we might say, what was the Pony Express? Well, we see that it tells us right there, it was a plan to get the mail moved more quickly. Okay, so then we asked about what were the plans for it? Well, the plans for it was to set up relay stations from Missouri to California. Got that. Where, did they need special horses? Yeah, we got that. They had to be small. They had to be fast. They had to be tough. Got that. What about the special rider? Yeah, the riders had to be special. They had to be skilled. They had to be determined, strong, and courageous. So that's the second R. The last R is to review. Do you remember your answers? Now, could you tell me more about the Pony Express? Could you tell someone else now about the Pony Express? Okay, that's all there is to it. PQ3R, preview, just look over everything. Sometimes the articles will be longer than this, and that's okay. Just preview it a little bit and ask questions about the titles that you see, and then read it, and then go back and see if you got your questions answered, and then write them down or make sure you remember it, PQ3R. Okay, that, again, is all of our lesson. We didn't have very many uh, long lessons in reading this week, so that's all there was. Now, next week, um, in your next lessons, we're going to be studying about flags, which is very important, especially in today's time. So, anyway, that'll be all your reading lesson today.